Hmm. So you can see what we're aiming at. <coughs> it's together, but the problem I've got is actually mounting the generator because it's just an oddball shape. I was running them straight forward with the engine because there was some actual mountings to make straight forward. But this one's a bit different. Hmm. Um. I've got, uh, okay, so we can do... It's a bit wobbly. <laughs> but I'll deal with that separately. Because that shaft out are true, again. And it must be, obviously. But there's this thing about, obviously, because the, um, when you crank it because of the pistons and the compression, it, uh generate a wobble because of the inertia but that's basically mechanically we're talking about that I just got to get that generator mounted and then we'll probably take it all apart again and, and really really spend a lot of time trying to that shaft up properly hmm. but my issue is mounting the generator which I didn't think would be the biggest problem I thought mounting the engine would be the biggest problem but it's uh, yeah. So, oh, there we go. <laughs> We've also got a locking plate for the uh, the ring gear, and at the moment it's just held by clamps. But then eventually I'll just put a piece of uh, casing over it, so that the uh, oh, I might just put a blooming spot weld on it. I probably won't, because it's not so easy to get on. So I might just put a clamp over it. Mm hmm. But it, I mean, it's basically, you know, I mean, obviously I'm running it on the starter motor, which is pathetically slow, 100 RPM. So when I actually get it up to speed, my main worry is that the whole thing will basically vibrate itself apart. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. So, yeah. See what goes, eh? 